Uh, my name is Paul McNally, I'm the Features Writer for Men's Health and um, I'm lucky to catch a few minutes with Rake right now. What's your training resume looking like for the Olympics? We, uh, we've got 17 weeks to prepare and uh, we've got the whole uh, you know, competition schedule worked out. Uh, we'll be racing every two weeks, which I think is ideal, and leading you know, right up to the Olympics. And then we have a camp, uh, I believe, in uh, just outside of uh, uh, Tokyo, leading up to the Games. And so, yeah, so everything's been planned a couple of months ago, and hopefully we can just you know, stay healthy and it will uh, all work out well. So is there a lot of fooling around happening in the Olympic Village on the lineup to it? Not before. Uh, you know, leading up to the event, uh, everyone's focused, or you should be focused, if you go in there with a purpose. But uh, <laughs> after, you know, from about day one to about day four, everyone's just focused because everyone's still competing. From about day four, day five, you start seeing people beginning to let go because their events are finished. By day ten, it's a pretty good party. <laughs> And by the last two days, it's absolute mayhem. So um, uh, I feel very bad for the you know for the marathon runners and for everyone that has to compete on the last day, because they got to keep focus when everyone else is partying and and, and having fun and, and uh, you know like letting loose of those uh, all those energies that's been kept in for uh, you know for months. How do you feel about shifting from South African icon to uh, businessman? Uh, I'm excited. I think it's a you know, it's a new uh, a new phase of my life and you know, I'm pretty excited about it and uh, yeah, I, I will always be involved with swimming and sport in South Africa. I, I don't think there's any way I'll, I'll, get, I'll get rid of that but uh, uh, I'm excited about this new challenge and uh, I'll approach it like I did swimming uh, yeah, with, with determination and with uh, lots of hard work. Rake, thank you very much. All the best for the Olympics.